still it was much more difficult to get it's, the simulation right in the first step than getting these these repetitions finally looks like a grid again ooh looks like tetris again a cave in the tunnel Okay, Tetris. Five types of rocks, okay. Okay, all, always the same order. I got my star, yoohoo. Hey. <laughs> That's so great. So how many zeros are there in this number? Three, six, nine, twelve zeros. One uh -huh. million by A one. A million nine. million. Yeah, so ten e twelve, yeah. So English uh, number names that would be a quadrillion, I think. Yeah, but however, ten to the twelve power. So if you simply run the loop, this will be about one thousand seconds. So the loop itself, about such a number. Uh, will probably work for I don't know 15 minutes so then it depends what you are doing inside this thing if you do a really simple operation there then it will run in like 15 or, or 30 minutes but if you actually try to simulate these shapes and run an even small loop within this loop then it will be very long so I got a solution here Looks not, and I don't. Looks not too bad. That's the right answer. Congrats. UE. So, just for the records, I will explain my solution here. So, on the way, I was not sure if it's correct, but now I am. So, I will share again. No, I don't share. Oh, do I share? Yes, I share. Wait. You're not sharing. <laughs> Yes, but I, I want to share, <laughs> so so let me share. There. Yeah. Okay, now I am holding two maps here to find my repetitions. I call them rep and rep2. So the first map maps a pair of integer to a list of integers. So this list is always a list of, of uh, shape numbers. So first shape, second shape, third and so on one millionth shape. So this is in both maps the same. So in this first map I'm mapping this shape index and the chat index. And then mm -hmm. I get as an output what you saw before this 1745 thing. So now what I'm doing in the second map is I'm using this 1745 thing and mod the current shape number by this. So every 1745 shape I throw in, I push back the maximum index that was was uh, uh, covered so far. And when I do this, I again get a pattern here by movement. So this means here in my repetition 2, the 1721th shape, so every 1721th, always produces a height of 2753. And this, you see this in my table, it's this 2753 fairly quick repeats everywhere. So this 2753 is the height of my 1745 shapes. And then I go into the code and are fairly simple run it for 10,000 loops here and after the 10,000 looped I simply increase my, my loop counter, my i, so it gets nearly to this uh, uh, 1 trillion thing and I, I record how many counts I did here. So this count is like a billion divided by this 1745. So now in the end I take my max position I found 
multiplied by this 1745, no, 2700 something multiplied by this count. And then this gives actually the right answer. So actually I jump over this a multiple of 1745 shapes and this a million times or something like this. And then, then the result comes out here, which is this really big number. So happy to have solved this. Uh, one question. Uh, yeah. What is your what are your rankings for today? My rankings. Let's look at this. Oh, oh it's not so bad. So first star with four thousand and second star with two thousand four hundred seventeen. But funny thing, the the second star actually was for me now not that difficult. So maybe. You you taught me uh, you 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 told me what what's the question the second star so I thought about this the last two hours while implementing the first part but uh, still it was much more difficult to get this, the simulation right in the first step than getting these these repetitions finally okay now I'm I'm actually done for today <laughs> Arim have a nice day have a nice day see you tomorrow morning yeah goodbye.